Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 14 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in our world. I'm really starting to love this. We've done a lot of really great things. In the last episode, we finally defeated the Wither and got ourselves a beacon. And to go along with that, I want to eventually build this beacon up. Now just for display purposes, I put some gold blocks underneath, however I feel like using iron would be the easiest because it's super easy to get iron. Not only for mining, but for making an iron golem farm. So that's what we will be doing today, I want to make a super efficient iron farm. But before we get started with that, there's a few things we need to go over first. So first off, I'm recording this on Wednesday, I'll also be uploading this on a Wednesday, and so that means it's snapshot day, and currently we are on the newest snapshot, 20w19a, which is an interesting snapshot, and the reason it's interesting is because it's not interesting. Now <laughs> that might sound like an oxymoron, but what I mean is when Mojang releases snapshots that really don't do anything, all this snapshot does is makes a few tiny bug changes, that means that the update is pretty much finished and ready to be released so hopefully within the next week or two here we'll hear something about a release date my estimate is that we'll get a release date within at least a month or two I'd say two months is probably the latest hopefully within a week or two we'll at least know when it's gonna be released um, also literally when I started this episode this dog was a baby now he's an adult and that <laughs> segues into the next thing I wanted to talk about where I got some new pets that need some naming, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. First off, we have our two dogs here, but I have a new dog, so if you have name suggestions for this dog, let me know. This was all done on stream yesterday, if some of you guys watched, it was pretty fun. We also bred our cats and got ourselves a new kitty, so we have Lucy and Joe, they had a kid, and I need a name for this new kitten. So if you guys have name suggestions, let me know down in the comments. And then the last thing we have to name is our new horse here. I finally got a horse. It's what I really wanted. We found him in the plains biome. So yeah, he's looking pretty cool. If you guys have name suggestions, let me know. I'll probably just take the top comment for each my horse, dog, and cat and just name it that. Or something. Depends on the name or if I see a name that I really like. So yeah, let me know name suggestions. I do have enough name tags. I believe I have three or four. Um, and we only need one for this iron golem farm because we need to name a zombie so it doesn't despawn. But the rest can go to naming pets. Anyways, let me show you guys what you'll need to make this iron farm and I'll also head to a place that we can make it. And before I start, I should also mention whenever I do a design or build that's not mine, I like to credit someone else. I usually either say it in the video or put them in the description. But for this design, it's kind of hard to credit someone because I've done I did this design many months ago and it still works in 1.16, but since then or when I made the build, a bunch of other people have made it after me and also I credited someone when I made the build, but that person credited someone else and that person credited someone else. So it seems like this build has just hopped all over the place. And I think so many people make it for a reason. It works really well. It's super efficient. It's not a giant iron golem farm, but it is pretty easy to make. And it gives you lots of iron. So unfortunately, I'm not really sure who to give credit to. I'm just going to link my original tutorial video, which might be a little easier to follow along in this video. I'll try to make this video as easy to follow along as possible. It might be hard though, because I'm in survival, so there's gonna be a few steps that might be a little bit hard, whereas in creative on my other world, it's a lot easier. So I'll link it down below, but in that video, I do credit someone, but again, the credit goes back many different people, so I'm not sure who to originally credit. But anyways, let's get into the build. All right, so here we go. I've gathered some food and the materials I need, but before you build this, let me get rid of this chicken, uh, you do need a big flat area, a nice area that's, you know, easy to work with. So I just chose this plains biome. And also, some of the materials you'll need are two zombies and six villagers. And so if you're not on a server and don't have access to spawn eggs, I would recommend you build this relatively close to a village. Again, I don't want to build it in my village because it's kind of big, bulky, not the prettiest thing. But it is pretty close. My village is right there, so I can easily get my villagers over here. But to make this... Here's what you'll need. Four stacks of any building block, 38 fence gates, 64 pieces of glass, six grindstones, six trap doors, two slabs, eight buckets of water, one bucket of lava, two chests, one hopper, two name tags. These are essential. People have asked me that before. You need the name tags so you can name the zombies and the zombies won't despawn. 
three signs, and then six beds. And then I also have a bed of my own here just so I can skip the night while I'm building this. So anyways, I'm going to be doing this in sort of steps one so i can follow my own tutorial and two so that you guys can easily see what i'm doing but again i'll link the tutorial down below so you guys can see it and also if this is a bit too expensive or you don't want a super big farm i did do a tutorial on my channel of literally the smallest iron golem farm possible and it does work in 1.16 so i'll also link that down below but anyways let's get started on the build all right so to start out make sure you have a pretty large area to build this uh, and also, I should mention that this is going to be a build where there will be two mirrored sides. So, just a heads up for the future. So, how we're going to start is we're just going to go place a block and go up 10 blocks. And then after that, on this 10th block, the highest block, just place one block on either side and then raise this up by one. So then after you have this sort of shape, take this top level and bring it back seven more blocks. All right, so for this next step, build a temporary wall all around this side. This will just be temporary. It's not permanent, so don't worry. Leave this part open though, because this will be the part where the iron golems fall into. Pretty much the way this is gonna work is we have this big pillar and this will be the area the iron golems will spawn in. Water will push them into a big pit where they will burn. And we'll also mirror this on the other side. But anyways, we have this temporary wall. Just grab your fence gates and place them all along the outside here. This might be kind of, ooh, not like that. They have to be orientated the other way. This might be kind of tricky for me to do. So I think what I'm going to do is let me just place another temporary wall like this. There we go. So I'll just do this all the way around. All right, so once you have these fence gates placed all the way around, you can break your temporary wall. So after you have this little shape, what you're going to do is take three of your water buckets and then just place them all along this edge right here. And it should perfectly flow to the end. Oh, wait, did I mess this up? Oh, wait, you know what? Sorry. Bring this out one more block. I must have brought it back only six blocks. Did I make the mistake? I think I did. That's my bad. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if I counted, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I must have just built it out wrong. And then I, we do need to place fence gates on each side of this really fast. That's my bad, I just messed up. <laughs> so then let's grab this, just boom, place the fence gate, and then let's grab right back on top of here. We can break that and then do the same thing on this side. All right, sweet, there we go. Now this side is ready to go. So then after we have this, I just need to get back on top of these fence gates really fast, making sure I don't fall. And what we're going to do is grab our glass and go one block out from the fence gates. So just like that. And then we are going to make a glass wall around this entire thing. Now to save glass, you can simply place a block so you don't have to waste the corners but again one block out from the fence gates just like that not wasting our corner blocks there i know glass can be a pain in the butt to get so that's why i want to use as minimal as possible break that really fast and then continue this wall and there we go so then to finish off this little area right here simply open up all of these fence gates but open them facing outwards so you have to be like right in front of them Ugh, going against this current is so hard it was a lot easier to do this in creative mode but there we go once you're done with that we are done with this little contraption so i'm just going to place a block here really fast so i can get up on this glass wall and once you're done it should look like this this is the first side pretty much done so then after that we're going to go three blocks from this pillar here and then just build up a little bit with our cobblestone temporarily. You've got to get right up to this height and then go out one more. Build up one block so that this block is right there where that fence gate is. Oh, sorry, one block lower, right there. And then on top of here, place a glass to the left of it. Oh, God, I messed up. No. Oh, wait, I have silk touch. We should just use this silk touch pick the entire time. Let's see if I can grab it. Ah, yes, there we go. <laughs> one glass on top and then one glass on the right side and one glass on the left side. This will be the start of the little chamber where the villagers will stay. And let me, yeah, let's go sleep really fast. So after that, you're actually going to want to dig down your cobblestone all the way back. And then what you're going to do is head right under this block again. Just build up a little bit to get up there and then one block under here. So we're going to build down two 
and then just break that and break that and we're gonna make a little bit of a platform here so let me just build up we have three blocks like this and then we have one two three and then at the end just build out so we have this little platform here this is pretty much going to be the villagers living place so you have this glass thing go one block down go another block and then build this little three by three platform and then place one block right there so then after that we are going to take our beds oh the inventory is such a mess place one there one there and one bed right there and then take your grindstones place one under that block one on top of this block and one on top of this block now i'm just using grindstones because this is what the original tutorial suggested this is what i did when i made this tutorial however with the latest snapshot it no longer matters what profession the villager has now i don't know if that means that the villager has to have a profession to spawn iron golems so i'll mess around with this and see if i can remove the grindstones but to be safe just use grindstones i know the latest snapshot might say otherwise but again, I don't want to do anything to mess with this farm, so I'm just using grindstones. But we have this bed for the villagers to live, and then grindstones to give them professions. Alright, so next we are simply going to take uh, some blocks and our trapdoors and build up two. Break this bottom block, place the trapdoor under this, close the trapdoor, and break this block. And in this little hole right here, this is where the villagers will go. Now, this is the hard part in survival because if you're in creative you can simply spawn your villagers right in there but in survival we can't do that so we have a few different options you can either build a giant bridge from your village to here and if you place a boat on top of a villager you can then ride the villager back to this spot however since we have to go up multiple blocks there is an easier solution what i would recommend is building a sort of pattern like this going up make a staircase i don't know if this will reach it perfectly i'll build it later but just do something like this and then take some rails yeah it's not high enough but take some rails and a minecart and the villagers will automatically go into a minecart and simply have a rail system that drives your villagers directly into that hole so that's probably what i'll do later i'll do that at the end to finish off the farm but just a heads up if you're in survival that's probably the hardest part of this whole build but honestly it's not that bad now i know if you don't have rails uh that might be a bit of an issue um, again, if you find an abandoned mine shaft, you can easily get rails. If you haven't found one in your world and want a quick cheat, what you can do is go to escape, open to LAN, turn on cheats, and then type the command slash locate mine shaft, and it'll show you where the nearest mine shaft is, and you can actually teleport to it or go to the coordinates, and you can find a mine shaft that way. You can do that with any structure in Minecraft. Or you can just find one yourself, or if you have the iron, make some rails. Or if, you know, you don't want to do that and you want to play it safe, just build a giant bridge out of whatever block and use some boats. Now, so we have the issue here of that being a lot higher than where my villagers are. So what I would do is, hopefully this will make sense, say my villagers are on the ground and I need to get them higher up. Say I need to get them to there. I'll place some water and then I'll use the boat, and you can use the boat on land to bring the villagers to this little water elevator. You can use the boat to swim up the elevator, and then you and your villager are at whatever Y level height you need to be, and then just drive them directly into the hole. So hopefully that made sense. Those are your two options. Um, or again, you can always just have spawn eggs if you're on a server, or if you want to spawn in spawn eggs. I mean, I don't have a problem with that, but since this is my survival world, I really don't want to cheat. I want to do it legit. But again, I'll show you guys that process at the end of the build. I just want to finish this farm first. All right, so in Iron Golem spawning, there's another thing we need. Besides villagers, you need something that threatens the villagers so that it prompts Iron Golems to spawn. And so what we're going to do is build up one more time up here. I'm just going to take my blocks. And what we're going to do is basically build a little contraption where we keep a zombie in a tiny little hole and the zombie constantly threatens the villagers. However, we place blocks above the zombie so it does not burn up and it lives forever and we give it a name tag so that it doesn't despawn. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four blocks away and one block up from the villagers and then you can break the rest of these blocks. All right, so after that, go one block back from this block. You can break that block and replace it 
with glass really fast. And then what we're going to do is all around this block, place one block just like that, and then place some glass around here. And don't worry, we're not gonna have glass on top so the zombie won't burn, but having glass on the sides will allow the zombie to not burn. And the reason we use glass is just so we can always see that the zombie's in here, and if the farm isn't working, we can check to see if the zombie despawned or got killed. And then after that, we're just gonna break this bottom block and then place one more block, and this will be the little hole for the zombie. So then to finish this off, just go above this like that, take your slab, place the slab up there, and then right under the slab, place your trap door. And this is finished now. And this is a similar situation to the uh, whole villager thing. So you have two options. You can't unfortunately use a boat or a minecart for a zombie to the best of my knowledge. Um, let's just grab our block like this and also place one trap door on top of here. We just have to make sure the zombie can't get out and we have to open it like that. So now the zombie is completely closed in. But what I would recommend doing, and again, I'll show you this at the end, but simply make an opening in this really fast, make a staircase going down, wait till it's nighttime, and then when you see a zombie, simply stand on top of the staircase, lure it up, get on top of here, wait for the zombie to get in this hole and close it off. But again, I will show that at the end. It's pretty simple to get the zombie. And then after you get the zombie in here, just have your name tags ready. I would name them in the anvil ahead of time and just quickly name your zombie so it does not despawn. I'm actually gonna name the name tags now. Again, it doesn't matter what you name them. You can name it Fred, you can name it name, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna name my zombies Fred and Joe. I know that sounds a little weird, but <laughs> whenever I make Iron Golem spawners, I always name them either Fred or Joe. I don't know why, it's just what I do, but I'm gonna go get my name tags ready really fast and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got Fred and Joe, and if you don't know, just a heads up, you can just rename it in an anvil. It takes one level of XP, so I guess that's another thing you need for this. You'll need at least two levels of XP. Um, and then to name anything, you simply right click it. So it's pretty simple. You can just right click the zombies. As for the villagers, the villagers will not despawn. So you don't have to worry about naming them. If you want to name them, you can. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. They don't really need a name. But anyways, let's head back really fast to the farm. All right, so now we have this little contraption made. Villagers in there, zombies in there. It prompts iron golems to spawn and they'll fall. But now we need to make them a little death trap. So go right under the middle block of this and go out one block. Let me make sure this is correct. There we go. And then after you have this block, you're gonna go one, two, and then one, two. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. So you'll end up having this five by five pit and then dig this down one more block. So a five by five by two hole in the ground. Let me just finish this up really fast. We also have to sleep because it's becoming nighttime. Eventually, I will make it nighttime on purpose so that we can get a zombie, but let's sleep really fast. Oh, come on. Come on, it's almost nighttime. Let me sleep. There we go. Okay, so a 5x5 five five little hole. That will be the chamber where the iron golems actually fall into and eventually meet their doom. So then after you finish this hole, grab your building block of choice. Let me just... Oh, well, I guess I can't grab that piece of dirt right now. Uh, and then just build a too high wall all the way around. Again, you can skip the corners, it doesn't matter. This just ensures that while the iron golems are falling, they don't have time to move away from the hole. They for sure fall right in this hole. So then after that, we're really almost done with the farm. It's pretty simple from here. Take another water bucket, get your lava ready in any corner. It doesn't matter, whatever corner you know you fancy. Place your water and it'll fill up this entire thing except for one block. So now we're going to take our signs, place one sign there, one sign there, and one sign there, and then dig that block down one, take our lava bucket, and place our lava like that. So this is pretty much the design. Anywhere the iron golems fall in this pit, they will get pushed into the lava. But now we just need to dig out of here really fast. Let me just get our dirt and our cobblestone, fill this in. And then right next to the lava, dig down. I'm just going to dig a little pit so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure I have plenty of room in case I accidentally burn. Oh, nope. Oh, that wasn't the lava. Okay, hold on. I might have just messed this up. Let me get our sign. Hopefully, I didn't ruin this build. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's, it's messing up a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Well, I just messed that up. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay. You know what? 
it, it was right until I dug to the wrong place. Let's place our sign there. Hold up. We should, we should be okay. This isn't too much of a mess. All right, there we go. We're, we're still working here. Let me go grab one more bucket of lava. I believe I have some in my chest really fast, and I'll be right back. All right, I got my lava. Let's try that again. So we have our signs. Place the lava. There we go. We're fine. It's not going to flow. This time I will not dig out the water, the sign. Let me make sure I'm right under the lava. There we go. We're perfect. So get your chests ready. Place some like this. You can really place it however you want. doesn't matter. And then get your hopper. We're going to need to go back inside this farm really fast. Let me just build up and place your hopper going into the chest. So pretty simple design. Iron golems get flowed into the lava here. The top half of them burns and dies, but their drops fall down going into the hopper and then ultimately into the chest. Now, there is a slight chance that some of your drops may get burnt, but that's almost impossible to, you know, always prevent from happening. The majority of your drops, though, will go straight into the chest. I've made this farm many times before. Rarely do any drops get messed up, and it's a pretty efficient farm. Um, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but there you go. Pretty simple design. All right, so now to finish the farm is a little bit of an unfortunate fact. But we have this whole thing right here, and we need to build this mirrored on the other side. Now, again, it's it's not too bad. It wasn't too bad to build all this. It took a lot of time for me to explain, but now that you've already done it once, it should be pretty easy. We are literally just going to build the same exact thing on the other side, but mirror. So again, make sure the water you know doesn't flow this same direction, have it flow into the pit, place the villagers, same spot, the zombie, same spot. So I'm gonna do that really fast. I'm not gonna do it on camera again, just because I don't wanna bore you guys. I think it'll be easier if I just do it off camera, but I'll do that really fast. And after you do that, just get your villagers in and get your zombie in, which again, I'll show you at the end of the video and you should be done. Once you've completed that in the past, I have heard people complain that they will look at the farm and either iron golems aren't spawning or they only spawn on one side. And there's two kind of things you should know. If they only spawn on one side, first off, good. <laughs> the farm's working, at least they spawn. Um, Sometimes they only spawn on one side for a while. I've watched the farm and done a time lapse and it seems like the first 20 golems spawned on one side and finally started spawning on the other side. If they don't spawn at all or only spawn on one side the entirety of the farm, just check each side, make sure your proportions are right, like where you put the blocks, make sure you did all the jobs right, have the right zombie and villager. Sometimes people have one zombie that despawns and so they don't do it correctly. Um, or if it doesn't work, again, just make sure you have this build correctly or that make sure you're on the correct version of Minecraft. Currently on 1.16, this design still works, but again, as they upload more snapshots or more details, this build might not work. So I'll add in the comments below if they ever add a snapshot where this build doesn't work, but so far I tested it in my world and it still does work. So I'm going to build this other side really fast and I'll be right back with you all. All right, so like 20 hours later, here we are. I have it pretty much completed. I put the villagers in this side, I put the zombies in this side, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the whole villager and zombie thing. So to get the villagers from my village to here, I made this pretty long, just ginormous cobblestone railway, which I'll eventually break, but for now I left it up to get the villagers here. Um, again, just use boats, it's pretty simple, simply place a boat on top of your villager you can ride it on land bring it over here and i just rode them oh we have a villager does this guy do you want to be in a an experiment i already have my villagers over there but you know you should pretty much just be able to place a boat all right yep like that and then you can just go and so i pretty much just went along this entire thing got my villagers over there it really didn't take that long it wasn't that bad and then if we head back over here i already set up the contraption with rails powered rails and mine carts to get my villager to the top. It was actually pretty frustrating trying to figure it out at first. Sometimes the villagers aren't always willing to work, but let me tell you, this will be worth it because you can get so much iron. You'll never need to mine for iron again. You'll have tons of iron golems if you need them. You'll be able to uh, easily get a beacon. But here we go. I made this little uh, railway system going up and in here I trapped my villagers so I can get them one by one. But I just have this button ready to press. It'll zoom the minecart up here. Hopefully it'll get it um, up that little ramp 
take the minecart up here it'll stop here and then we can just break the minecart and the villager will go in there and then for the zombie the zombie's pretty easy you just build this same staircase you don't even need the rails just wait for it to become nighttime bring a zombie up the staircase and plop him in there it's pretty simple but let's grab our minecart really fast we can place one let's just see if a villager would like to get in the minecart let's grab our cobblestone really fast so I can block up the hole after one gets in. Come on, no one? Any takers? Come on. Get it. You know you want to. Look at you. No. Get in the minecart. Go. Why? Oh, maybe you have to place it on top of the villager. Oh, wait. Hold on. He might willingly... Oh, wait. <laughs> He's just going up there. Hold on. Maybe he'll willingly go in. I don't even... Are you... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that one was easy. Now we just need to get another villager right there. Come on. <clears throat> Push him in. Come on, boy. You can do it. One of you, Volunteers Tribute, go. I can't push him. I don't want to hit him because then he's just going to hate me. But let's see. Even if Okay, he doesn't even run away if I hit him. Go, go. Go in the minecart. Oh, my God. Why wasn't he go in? Come on, please. Just go see, this is the most frustrating part. Just trying to get the villager in the actual minecart. Oh, I placed it. Go, 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 go in. No. Okay, well, this can I at least get this guy in? Maybe I can build a villager breeder up there. Get him to breed. Come on, go in. Let's wait for him to come out here. Let's break all this. We'll place it right as he's ready to come out. Come on. You know you want to. I know you want to come out. See, he wants to. Come on. Let's slowly just block up this area so he kind of is... Oh, God, no. I didn't mean to do that. I want to place a block above here so he can't jump out. Okay. Come on. Oh, my God. This, this guy, he just doesn't want to... Why are you acting up? Okay, well, you guys you guys get the idea. I'm going to get my villagers in here, and I'll be right back. All right, whatever. I just got my villagers in there. They're sleeping in their beds. I got my zombie in there. Shouldn't be too bad now. <laughs> and after you do all that, you guys get the idea. I'm sure you can figure it out. It's just a little frustrating trying to get the villagers in there. The zombies seem to be a little more cooperative because they just follow you, but sometimes the villagers are a bit mischievous. But after that... This farm should start working. Oh, I realized I didn't open the trap doors on that side. I'll do that really fast. But yeah, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just wait a little bit. So I'll open the trap doors. I'll AFK, let's say, 15 minutes, and we can see how much iron I get. All right, so it actually took me a little bit to get my first villager. Oh, my first iron golem, but uh, there we go. We got another one. We've gotten a few so far. I haven't been AFK for that long, maybe like 15 or 20 minutes. I kind of lost... Oh, lost track of time. I was just watching YouTubers uh, while I had this in the background. But for the first, like, 10 or so minutes, I really didn't hear any. But now we're starting to get them periodically, so it does work. And if we check... Oh, God. I'm really hoping the drops didn't burn. <laughs> please, please. And... Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. We have 16 iron so far and 5 poppies. So we're definitely doing all right. This is going good. Um, I'll probably AFK here maybe, like, overnight before the next episode. We can see how many stacks of iron we can get. But, yeah, that's the design. Hopefully, you guys found it useful. I hope, you know, you guys can make it for yourselves and it works out well. Uh, it's a pretty fun design. Again, you can just AFK around here. I wouldn't AFK, like, right under this farm. It might mess with spawn too much um, but if you do afk i would just go a little bit of ways and also when you afk make sure that you are very careful and that you're in a place where mobs can't get to you an iron golem farm isn't like this creeper farm where with the creeper farm you have to be at least a few chunks away or else no creepers will spawn with the iron farm you can be pretty close and they'll still spawn but i'll probably build like maybe an afk room just a few chunks away from all these farms and i'll just build all my farms in this general area so this will just be a giant farm area next to my village i guess all i really have to do is start breaking this uh giant cobblestone pathway and waiting for iron golems to spawn but yeah that's all for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed. If you found this useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Um, I try to respond to as many comments as I can. 
in all my videos but obviously it's hard when I get hundreds of comments however with this video I will definitely make it a point to respond to a lot of comments because I know people tend to just have issues making iron golem farms simply because they can get kind of big and complicated like this one this one isn't too bad but it is relatively large and involves a lot of parts so it can be kind of scary but hopefully it works out for you guys uh, and if you have any questions or it doesn't work just let me know down below um, also I should mention I am playing this on Java which I think most people know I'm not entirely sure this version works on bedrock console edition in fact I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure it does not so I would recommend not doing it I would say this is just for Java people um, if you want to try it out on bedrock and console feel free I would try it in creative mode first and AFK for a while and see if it works and again, with this farm, make sure you AFK for a long time before it starts. Some people complain that they don't see iron golems. This isn't supposed to get you stacks of iron per minute, like some of the giant iron titans. This one, you have to AFK for a while. So even if you're AFKing for maybe half an hour to 45 minutes and you've only gotten zero or maybe one or two golems, don't freak out. The farm is probably working. Uh, you just <laughs> need to AFK for longer. The only reason I say that is because this farm took a good 10 or 12 minutes before it started starting. When I made this the first time originally and did it on my channel, I literally made the farm and not long after I placed the last few blocks, Iron Golem started spawning. So it really just depends, it's kind of weird, I don't know if different biomes affect spawn rates or what, I'm not you know, a Minecraft expert in that regard. But hopefully it works out for you guys, if you enjoyed like I said leave a like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, this is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next 